number four for each of these types of problems. You can actually expand and then use the power rule instead of the product rule. Once you have this, you can combine your like terms and then use the, pro the power rule, which in my opinion is always favorable to any other type of derivation. Negative 8x cubed minus 2x squared plus 15x, and then you would just have to pop down, power down, and avoid the product rule. Same with this one. Your first function, you can write it as t to the one-third because it's cubed root of t. So algebraically, we're going to distribute t to the one-third into this quantity. t to the one-third times t to the two. When you multiply the same base, you add the exponents. One-third plus two is the same as one-third plus six-thirds, which is seven-thirds. t to the seven-thirds plus four t to the one-third. Pop down, power down to find our derivative. So this is h of t, now this is h prime of t. You should have 7 thirds t to the, now take 7 thirds and subtract 1, which is 3 thirds, so you're left with 4 thirds, plus 4 times 1 third is 4 thirds, so 4 thirds times t to the one third minus one or minus three thirds is negative two thirds. H prime of t is equal to seven t to the four thirds over three plus four over three t to the positive two thirds. Now I've put it in the denominator. Okay. Um, again, it's like, how much do I need to simplify? Like, when can I stop? Algebraically, from this step forward, I have the right answer. So when do I stop simplifying? Well, like I said before, if there are two fractions or several fractions, let's try to combine them to get one fraction. And it's okay to leave radicals in the denominator for these answers. So I'm going to multiply by a t to the two-thirds because I want to get common denominators to write this answer as one fraction. When you multiply, you add the exponents. So you should have 7t to the 2 plus 4 is six-thirds, which is 2 t to the, oh, you have 3 times t to the 2 thirds in the denominator plus 4 over 3t to the 2 thirds. Combine your numerators. 7t, ooh, 6 over 3 is 2, plus 4 over 3t to the 2 thirds. At this point, I'm going to write 2 thirds as a root. So the denominator becomes your root, so cube root and the numerator becomes what you have t squared. So t squared inside or parentheses squared around the root is fine.